so today I'm doing one of my favorite videos and that is an empties video. I'm going to be showing you all the products that I've used up in the last few months and I have quite a few here so let's just jump right in. So the first thing I have to show you is not a beauty product, it is actually a candle, a three wick candle from Bath and Body Works and I do not generally save my candles anymore for these empties videos but for whatever reason I decided to save this one and it was in the bag so I'm going to show it to you. It is the Paris Daydream City of Love candle and this one smelled really nice. I wouldn't say it's one of my favorites, but it's very, it smells very manly, like kind of cologne-like. I don't know, it smells really good, but I wouldn't say it's a favorite. So the next thing, of course, which I don't always save all of these, um, are my makeup remover wipes that I use every single night. For the longest time, I used the Neutrogena Makeup Remover Cleansing Telex in Night Calming. They're the ones in the purple package, and I really liked these. But then I found the Aveeno Active Naturals Pos Positively Radiant Makeup Removing Wipes. And I have two of these that I used up, and I absolutely love these. These are my new all-time favorite makeup removing wipes. I definitely recommend you go pick these up and try them out. They're very moist and they do a really good job at removing the majority of my makeup and I really like them. I already repurchased another one and am using them every night. So the next thing I used up is a sample and it is Viva Le Juicy Le Fleur Perfume and it was one of the cute little spray ones and this is a perfume that I really did like. I really enjoyed this sample. I think I got it like in my birch box or something and I definitely liked this. This is something that I would consider purchasing in the future but yeah it's really nice. Next I have two face washes to show you and the first one is the Garnier Clean Shine Control Cleansing Gel and this face wash is for oily skin and like I said it is a gel formula and I really liked this face wash. I just stumbled across it one day I think at Target and decided to try it out. It is oil free and I really liked this. I liked the consistency of it. It did a really good job at cleansing my skin and helped keep my acne at bay. So the next face wash I have to show you that I used up is the Aveeno Clear Complexion Foaming Cleanser and this has salicylic acid in it. This is probably my one of my all time favorite face washes. I really like this. I've already repurchased another one and it is really good. So the next thing I used up is the Herbal Essences the Sleeker the Butter Shampoo. This is a smoothing shampoo. I wouldn't say that this had an amazing scent um, by any means. It was very moisturizing. Definitely isn't a favorite of mine. I think it worked really well. I like good scented shampoos and this one wasn't that great. Um, I don't know, it's it's good, but I, after using the whole bottle, decided that it wasn't a favorite of mine. I am still using up the conditioner. Next I used up a favorite dry shampoo of mine. It is the Batiste Dry Shampoo and this is the Clean and Classic Original Scent. Um, the Batiste Dry Shampoos are my all time favorite. This wasn't my favorite scent but it still works just as good and I really liked it. I've already repurchased this in another scent. The next thing I used up is the Aveeno, okay I guess I'm seeing a pattern here. I apparently really like Aveeno products. So this is the Aveeno Eczema Therapy Moisturizing Cream and I really like this. Um, I have very dry hands on my skin. You guys have probably noticed in my videos. Um, this definitely helps with that. I have done a rapid review on this product. It is an all-time favorite of mine. I will link the rapid review down below so you can check it out. Alright, so this next item is a womanly product that we probably don't like to talk about, but I'm going to talk about it anyway. It is the Summer's Eve Naturally Normal Cleansing Wash for Normal Skin. And yes, this is to wash your downtown area. I find that it does a really good job at getting you really clean. And it helps keep your pH balanced, which is really good. This is something that I had heard Miss Glamorazzi talk about in one of her videos like a long while back. And I decided to give it a try. And I really like it. But I have to say that this blue one stinks. It smells like an old lady's perfume. I don't know. So I definitely don't, don't recommend this this scent but I've tried a few of the other ones and I really like those but this one don't buy this one anyways let's move on I've also used up two of my Urban Decay D Slick Makeup Setting Sprays these are my all-time favorite I really love these I've already repurchased it um, yeah I don't know what else to say about this other than it does a really good job at 
helping me control the oil on my skin, on my face, um, because I do have very oily skin, and I really like this. I've recently used up two setting powders. Um, I've used up the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, and this is in the color Creamy Natural. I've also used up my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. This is in the shade Light. I have repurchased both of these because I do really like them both. Next, I used up my all-time favorite foundation, which is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation. I used the shade called Ivory, the lightest one, of course. Um, this is a really good foundation. I think it's great for oily skin, um, and it's really great to cover up redness and acne and things like that. But yeah, it's really good. I've already repurchased it. So I've also used up a little mini deluxe size sample of the Benefit Professional. I really like this. It does a really good job at... Um, covering up my pores and filling them in and making my skin look as smooth as possible. I did already repurchase a full size of this. So the next item is also a deluxe size sample. This is something that I think I received in my birch box. It is the Amande, I don't know how to pronounce this, but it is a shower oil by Loctane. And this wasn't all that great. I don't know why I even used it up. I don't even feel like it, it didn't smell good. It made my skin kind of smooth, but didn't do anything amazing. I would not repurchase this in it the full size. Okay, so the next thing I used up is the Dermatologica Total Eye Care with SPF Eye Cream. This was a very good eye cream. Um, like I said, I used the whole thing up. Um, I don't know that it did anything miraculous, so I did purchase something different because I do like trying new products, but it was a very good eye cream, and I really like that it has SPF in it to protect your eye area from the harmful rays of the sun. So the next thing I used up is another deluxe size sample. It is something that I received, I think, in my birch box or Ipsy Glam bag. I have a hard time keeping straight what I received in which one. But anyway, it's the Wish... I think that's how you say it, Wish or Whisk Exfoliating Body Wash. And I really liked this. Um, I think it was a great exfoliator. It, I used it on my legs and it made them very smooth, but I do not plan on repurchasing the full size. So the last product I used up is an all-time favorite of mine as well. It is the Essie Good To Go Top Coat. And this top coat is amazing. It is my all-time favorite. It claims to help your nail polish dry faster, and I definitely think it does. It does a really good job at making it dry faster, and it makes my nails very shiny, which I love. I do have to say that this is not completely used up, which is disappointing, but I did include it in my empties video because I am throwing it out. It did get quite goopy you know from using it so often and I don't like it when it starts to dry up and get goopy and then it like smears your nail polish and that is not fun so yeah I am going to be throwing this out but I have already repurchased another one luckily this is not a very expensive product well I mean considering how often I have to repurchase it it's not super expensive I think it's like eight or nine dollars but it's a really good product and definitely worth the money Okay, so that is all of the products I have used up within the last few months. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I love empties videos, so please give this video a thumbs up if you like empties videos so that I will continue doing them. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. It really does mean a lot to me, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!